Welcome back. The U.S. Conference of Mayors, including Tacoma, Washington Mayor Marilyn Strickland, is urging Congress to pass its fast-track trade bill. The bill would give President Obama accelerated power to ink a major trade deal in Asia. Rochelle Kufel spoke to the mayor about her city's initiatives with China and how it's been successful with its outreach. When you look at relationships that we can form at the local level, and it's typically done through sister cities or personal relationships we have, they tend to be, I think, less formal, and we tend to get to know each other as people and then really evolve into the business part. If you look at the relationships that happen at the federal level or nationally, they tend to be very formal in nature. Um, the press follows them a lot. So I think in local government, we have the luxury of getting to know people first and then getting into the business at hand. And so yeah, I think we're lucky in local government to have these strong relationships, and they're often based on word of mouth or people who know each other. And what would you say that relationship means for Tacoma's economy, and especially when it comes to its trade prospects? No, oh, absolutely. Well, first of all, Washington state is the most trade dependent state in the nation. And 40% of our jobs rely on trade. So as an international port city, we rely very heavily on our international partners, especially those in Asia, given our location. And for a place like Tacoma, those relationships are key because we can, again, attract more students to come study in our schools, potentially gain investors who get to know the city and see the opportunities here, and also just fostering positive relationships. Um, we have a group of craftsmen coming from China to work on a Ting, which was a gift from our sister city over four or five years ago. And so again, I think these strong personal relationships really make the difference between some of the things you see happening at the national level versus happening at the local level in America's cities. And as you speak about education and the personal relationships, um, the initiative that some of the Tacoma public schools have launched with the private Chinese firm to have 50 Chinese high school students come and visit Tacoma. So how important are these educational and cultural exchanges? These educational and cultural exchanges are so incredibly important because they do two things. Number one, they give our guest students from China a chance to immerse themselves in American culture, but understand too that our students here in Tacoma benefit from getting to know students from different countries. And so for me, there is no downside to having students come study in our schools from abroad. Now, sometimes there can be some pushback when you know a, a new community is coming in. What would you say to Tacoma residents who perhaps are unsure about how they could benefit from Tacoma's growing relationship with China? Well, I think, you know, generally speaking, people can be afraid of change. And historically, you know, that's not news in a place like Tacoma. I mean, you know, again, we ran the Chinese out of here. There was a horrible period of American history when there was the internment of Japanese Americans. And it even seems like lately there's a backlash against immigrants. And so I think for those of us in positions of leadership, we have two important messages. Number one, xenophobia is never a good strategy for anything. And number two, if you want to be a city of the 21st century that is growing and thriving and succeeding and prospering, you have to have an international outlook because most of the growth happening in the world is happening outside of U.S. borders. And the more you're willing to open up your city to international guests and visitors and students, the better your city will be in the long run. And as we talk about opening uh, borders up to trade, obviously the U.S. Conference of Mayors going on. And you, as being part of the uh, Conference of Mayors, were one of those who wrote a letter urging House leaders to adopt the Trans-Pacific Partnership. What prompted you to write this letter, and why is it so important? Well, there are two parts of this. There's the TPA, which is giving the president trade promotion authority to negotiate the TPP. And I'm really supportive of that for a few reasons. I sometimes tell people that the minute you are sworn into office in Washington state as a mayor, you become very pro-trade. And I, as I said earlier, 40% of all jobs in Washington state are tied to trade. And most of those trade jobs are tied to local small businesses. So if we want our small businesses to thrive and to have access to international markets, it makes sense for us to, to support these trade agreements. I think the other part of this, too, that's really important is that we want to raise the standard of living around the world. So when you look at the other countries who are part of TPP, we're talking about human rights standards, we're talking about environmental standards, we're talking about labor standards, and also an opportunity to protect intellectual property for U.S. companies. So as we talk about you know, trade agreements moving forward, the Obama administration has stated that this will be the most progressive trade agreement in the history of America. So we want to make sure that we're able to pass this and really in many ways to benefit local workers here at home and especially local small businesses. 